Britain agreed. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain, or just cheap shit. Come on! Covered in blood, all of it! So much work for naught! No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covere. Ha! <laughs> Horvere, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk.
What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Lingering like flies around shit instead of doing some honest work. Ooh. Got my eye on you. Eyes oh, a war veteran. Scary crowd. Uh. I can't fight any work here, watch out. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. To push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. You could go back to metal, aren't you? You'd be open to me, Smithy. The eternal fire will guide us! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, 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 oh,
Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Sorry. Can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... Yeah! This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecherous? Hmm. How old are you again? Nine! Uh... Eight! In that case, wait a few years and I'll tell you. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? No, it's not true. He's a liar. He ain't a liar. Witches don't lie. They can lie because they're not knights. When you've got to kill a dragon, you summon a knight. But if there's a zoogling in the trash heap, the knight won't want to go, so you've got to call a witcher. Enough! That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. Yeah! Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came. Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes, longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No, he perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm, maybe... no, won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold, that was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. When I grow up, I would... You're stupid. Last is coffee. I'm in a cell for twisters. Who's that? Everyone knows it. I even heard of it. This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone.
Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I fear your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Lata? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, Perhaps you'd agree to come along. Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. The Grey is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Yeah. Grey is a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Hmm. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. I think I'll take the Grey Mare. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. Riders, ready! Get up. the speed, the rush of air. Hey, yeah. Faster. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. I adore the speed, the rush of air. Come on, Witcher. 
Archer, let's see what you're made of. Let's go. Speed, the rush of air. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. The roach I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost the race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. Ah, look! Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I shall be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. Who do you favor, my lady? Can't decide between the Black Stallion and the Grey Mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful tiring, all this. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realise Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her, looks after her, the way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? Oh, no. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship? Course not. Sweetiekins couldn't be happier that Dandelion's raising me sophistication. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Ah, uh, nothing hurts as much as life. Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. 
It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Just this morning, my Twitter came back from the market with news. Some mysterious bird else. What do you want? Want to see Rosa for Atra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Mutants, <sighs> blasphemers, kobolds. Fancy men like me, whole town's going on about. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, uh, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, vagrant? How'd you get in? Well, I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher! Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Far Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss.
Well, I hope you realise what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll earn the ambassador's eyes. Follow me. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? I came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Oh, You're quick. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? Stop flaunting and fight. What? Lost your nerve? Why bother with two swords? Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take a dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? 
For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents, afraid I've more sense than that. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. KSN? K-Swex? again. Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. The city weeps neath its veil of rain. Suspicious to me, Trap. No 
Elf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Bar Atra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one to get hurt. Now on guard. <laughs> I yield! You all right? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. From now on, assume your every move's observed. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... We'll tend to her ourselves. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss. Off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's witches as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas! <laughs> what? You lost your nerve? Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. 
No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs. They got what they deserved. Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. What are you keeping, Bobby? Mess your soul down, you old bird? What's this? Have me. <laughs> ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She ought to start talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this owl. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ach, but dandelions, what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kellanetta or something like that. Ah, uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picture Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's Troop, Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see.
Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. I 
and twisted stormy of violet eyes glistening as you Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is? Permit me to introduce... Uh, Alessia's persona. Known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this. is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say. sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least it didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Bobby. Now you. Do you seek to get me drunk? I was ah. seeking to get you drunk, man. Oh. We will not be drinking with the blessed world. Oh, who do you think you are? 
fuck? Uh, I believe I shall stop coming uh, here. Why? Even with the wall on, they still manage to do a fine beverage. Why is your hair so grey, darling? Remember, I think. All right. Mutants, blasphemers, kobolds. Move on. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You made this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hi, Whitehead. Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. If he doesn't blush. And then order them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And oh, then make the love in the bigger. He's whole like a piss. horse. <laughs> Clear that you're not Siggy matter. Reuven. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say aye. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Paul Sun Junior. What? Just nerve.
Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first! Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh... Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? 
Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Don't have time right now. Then come back when you do. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stand. Oh, yeah. Terrible times. Gander over here. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. Love to chat it up with doormen. In fact, often come to an agreement with them. Thing is, I'm short on patience today. So either let me in or I'll let myself in over your dead bodies. Ho oh, ho, hear the cockerel. Kicking and standing is comb on edge. Cock-a-doodle-doo, -doo. what am I to do? Shit myself. All right. Go left. Let's dance. Take him from the back. Oh, Gotta get around him. You're a witcher. Guards! 
just wait. Come on, Should search this hole.
Floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind this wall. Interesting. Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Snowball boogeyman. <laughs> Mug like that won't get you a copper. Looks to be elegant like me. Ah, nothing hurts as much as love. What did it do you from? Will eyes. Since in the area two days ago.
Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? What do you have on offer? So long. Come closer, don't be shy. Looking for a bit of something unusual. Ooh, come now. Nothing. Eternal fire will guide us. Bet you're sweaty and all that armor. Or you can. for fresh fish. What's this? Fresh fish? You call this fresh? I would tell you. Tablets off to the latest fashion. Ah! I'm here oh. and only here. I had to sail back to Pilgrim as long ago as it was a house. I haven't heard my fight any while. I want you to make sure the oh. prick liquor's not here. Gerald Lorenz! I'd expect shite. Cleaver nice wants this bomb hole searched, so I'm searching. Nothing interesting here. Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's oh. cherry? Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. Nice razors you got there. Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Place has been scrubbed clean. Stay to my hackam. They ought to never let your kind in. <laughs> so bored I can spew. Every sinner. Hang the wall. 
Oh, sure now. And whosoever contributes coin to the cause, yes. it's sin shall be I've had enough of living. This is no place for the likes of you. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit's out of luck. Here's my invite. All yours if you want it. Yeah. Gladly take it. Incidentally, bloody useless, these crowds. In Tamaria, you could say, you met my friend Fortest. Down in Nilfgaard, it'd be, Emperor would like to vouch for me. With this shite, nothing. That's true. What we got here, eh? Some fucking ship. Ship couldn't vouch for you. What are you gonna say? Meet my friend this ship? Bloody balmy. Downright stupid. All right, you can go in. I just need to play one more time. Strange I'll bird. All back. Who's that? You've no I'll call you stay and I'll I know the word out of you and I'll all take right. you upstairs. No! Watch it, Tram. Novigrad's not your stomping ground. Cards lining up today? A mutant? What the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead? Or other shitsids around here? Not hunting shitsids tonight. Looking for the owner of this establishment. Oh, someone asked after him yesterday. Who? You know, I don't know. They crushed his head before I could get a good look. Man swimming with the fishes now. Horson's always been touchy, but this, this is going too far. Really gotta talk to the owner. Know where I can find him? I don't know, squat. Wait a moment. Gentlemen, this here rogue wishes to speak to the owner. Any of you know where Junior is? What? Lost your nerve? Should look around. Beat you half to death. Hey, can you hear me? You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? 
heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? What's your name? Rico. Rico Meyersdorf. Why are you here? <sighs> What's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Strength's gone. Double chase. <laughs> Let us live. I do. What do you want? Wiley. Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. I do. What do you want? So what am I supposed to help you with? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words in all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Ah. 
Oh, Bart. Not again. Bart. Bart, stop that. Now. Bart. Bart. Bart makes Ziggy lose his orphan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky. Bart, less thinky. Bart, sadness. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bart. Bart. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad, troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Hey, 
edges curled out. Something inside blew wide open. All too. Now how strange I have seemed to converge here. Great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tight for no traces of magic. Must have been no one spell. powerful blast a bomb. Now why am I not finding Should peace enough for it without taking that antidote? <sighs> Getting harder to breathe. Container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil. Gold coin. Caramel? That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Hey, Bart. Got a minute? Minute? But no minute, Scott. But rock, Scott. Rocks want? I 
mean a minute to talk. You mean... but nice! One more time, can we talk? Siggy you like. Talk me with. Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. 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 A minute. I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, I know the one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. 
Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault, has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, Brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Any needs, Master? What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And a lion made some interesting friends. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer.
letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Twelve forty five to twelve fifty four. Hmm, <laughs> satisfying click in the next room over, I think. Secret room, probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the high stain. Wyvern oil. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Patassi instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. <sighs> well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. 
But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... you know... Dijkstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will, and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine, let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I wanna thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. 
Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Devil's spawn. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, playing tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. All right. Had enough of this charade. What are you on about? Watch and learn. Get out! Oh, oh, oh. 
How long you gotta make me wait? Not good. That's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? 
Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Mr. Reuven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. 
You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Bring my husband back to Elf. He's a good man. Honest. Right, just Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Must have broken many a heart, eh, Dandy? Ah! Like dung that flows to the sewers, so the worst scum Non human, are you? Look for your kind beyond the world. I've put in your family. Kisses your ass today. It was quite it Just to hide and wait. Blind man would even spot me here. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic.
Tris. How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Menge. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady I'd never, but to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> you must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. <laughs> Enough. Enough. So gonna talk. Uh, yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start, before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. <laughs> Why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, lay and gay. How do you feel? Peace. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right.
We need to get out of here. What's he doing here? Hard times we live in, uh... So well at this, Mitch Reynolds. Oi! Cocker! What's the hurry? The Passive Florida is Novigrad's most famous quarter. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? What do you have on offer? So long. Officially, they're tremendous. What? Another drifter oh. in from Tamir. Pardon me. Oh. oh! Save me. I'm dying. Village are you from? Willows. It's a Tamiri to those right things, isn't it? Come now. Like dung that flows. There you go with this thing. So the worst scum for the big ups in the middle of the ground. Sorceresses, they're debauchery. to the majesty of the attack. Not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri? Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Tell me. You and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. <laughs> Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, 
I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Take care now. The thing I piss me trash. Do you see the uh, uh, Nothing hurts as much as I believe I shall stop coming here. Why? Even 